thank you very much for the continuous support in our YouTube channel. In our YouTube channel, today we are going to see the rule number two of our three sutras. Marriage with the relatives. Here, the seventh lord having connection with the fourth house and the fifth house lords, marriage will take place with the relatives. Here, the seventh lord having connection with the fourth house and the fifth house lords, marriage will take place with the relatives. And one more value will have to be get added here. If the Jupiter also aspect, also aspect added value will have to be get added. So here we go to the illustrated examples here. The Lagna is going to be Taurus Lagna, Sun, Mars, Mercury in Cancer, Venus Kedu in Leo, Libra in uh, Lib Li Jupiter in Libra, Rahu in Aquarius, Moon in Pisces, Saturn in Aries. We go to the rule. Seventh Lord. Here the seventh Lord is going to be Scorpio, Mars. Mars should have the connection with the fourth house and fifth house. The fourth house is going to be Sun. Fifth house is going to be Mercury. So Mars is having connection with the fourth house of Sun, fifth house of Mercury. So the marriage took place with the relatives. Again, I will repeat it here. Seventh Lord having connection with the fourth house and fifth house. Here the seventh house, Scorpio will be the seventh house. Seventh house Lord is going to be Mars. Having connection with the fourth and fifth house. Fourth house is going to be Sun. Fifth house is going to be Mercury. So Mars is having connection with the Sun and the Mercury. So the marriage is to place with the relatives. If you are having any doubts, please raise your in the comments. Thank you for your continuous support. We will meet you soon again.